What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're just taking a quick look at what's coming Monday. We do this every Sunday evening. You guys seem to enjoy it. It's just a look ahead as to what is coming tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to be getting an Arsenal selection with Arsenal big time players. And we're also going to be getting a Spanish league selection, which are going to be Spanish league guardians. This is going to come with three new Spanish league legends. So players that have played in the La Liga. So there are all the players there that you can go through. And we'll go into the kind of pick of these of who I think could actually be worthwhile. But I definitely feel like the legends are going to be interesting to look at. And the big time players. We're going to have Tommy Yashu, who's going to be an absolute beast if you haven't got him. So this is a concept design from CTE Football. And these are the Spanish League Guardians, what it looks like. Now we'll have a look at the proper cards in a second because they are up on the database. But just to give you an idea of what the cards might top out at, depending on what levels that they have. And Ferrer looks absolutely insane if he does come tomorrow. But there is a potential that the other guy could come there as well uh, with Alonso and Carlos. They are the three boys from the big time arsenal as well there was a trailer release for those where they designed their own cards and stuff like that it was up on the official eFootball twitter of course we are also going to be getting the brand new kicking off of the arsenal uh, eFootball championship open uh, event as well where it'll be the arsenal if you want to represent arsenal we've already had barca and we've already had bayern munich um, and now we have arsenal we know that the big time are already in the database so this is just a quick look at some of the players and some of their stats it's just a quick glance over them lads all black is due a really beastly card you also have edward militao who in fairness is a strange selection in this selection here um but his aggression is insane I think with the way the gameplay is, it's all going to depend on where his levels are. Zhao Cancelo as well is a fantastic option if you are. This looks like it could be a decent pack, a semi-decent pack anyway. Nothing is going to compare to the boosters at the moment, boys. Nothing really is going to catch those guys. But if you are staying free to play and you want to earn a few spins and you have a couple of coins saved up, Akuna Matata is really, really good as well. He's got a really good engine on him, good delivery. Gabriel then from part of the Arsenal selection. This is going to be coming tomorrow as well. So the big time players are going to be tied to the Arsenal selection. We're also going to have a free player in the eFootball shop as well. Uh, so that's going to be something that you can get with your points. And I do feel like that that's where they need to go with some of the boosters. Just throw a legend in there, man. Throw a booster into the eFootball points shop. Even if it's 10,000 points, people will have something to grind towards Zinchenko it looks like an interesting card as well again we will be live streaming again Monday boys and of course we will have all of this covered in detail early in the morning we're going to be taking a look at all these cards and going through their best builds for them because we've played a lot of games online man in the last 20 hours of streaming there is Gabriel Martinelli all of these cards interestingly enough are from the big time 8th of October so that is the match that they're taking from here Kai Havertz and of course we have Tommy Yashu now this guy looks pretty decent lads we know what Tommy Yashu can do in the game he's one of the best most complete players this card i think depending on his levels could be end game as well if you haven't got him already and then of course we do have the legends so we've got albert ferrer who's down as a destroyer and he's down as a center back so with the position guides this guy looks like he could be potentially one of the best right backs in the game even if he has 30 levels which we'll just do a quick little run through here right i won't keep you too long just to give you an idea look at the stats that you have without his booster and without his manager boost absolutely insane man if these stay the way that they are in the database here you're going to have nearly 100 speed and literally every defensive stat you could possibly want obviously he's going to be a bit shorter than normal destroyer cbs he's kind of in the mold of Cannavaro uh, and cardoba which are really beastly at the moment as well for on the ground defending and also we do have roberto carlos one of my favorite players ever to use in the game left back unbelievable engine on him and rounding it off we do have xabi alonso as i said lads it's just a little preview just a little guide of what we will be doing and tomorrow we'll be covering all these guys we'll be training them we might do a cheeky spinner to i'll see my team is fairly set at the moment so let me know what you guys think will you be spinning for these or are you enough with your squad that you have at the moment that is it for me i will see you guys tomorrow we'll be back as we will always be back on a monday with these new builds new training guides and some gameplay on our monday stream let me know if you're going to be interested in any of these cards or if it's a skip for you talk to you in a bit don't forget to subscribe